just wanting to show how uh, quiet this hot plate magnetic stir is. I mean, it's barely any noise. You can see the motor running below. But I got this off of eBay. It's a uh, Tory Hills Technologies LLC, and just been testing it out, boiling some water and distilling it. Uh, I don't have my condenser tube or any of the distilling uh, equipment that I ordered, but uh, heated up some of the flint glass tubing that uh, I got, uh, I think, sometime last week and uh, made a bend. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get better at that again. It's been many years since I did anything with chemistry, glassware, so... But uh, I just wanted to show this uh, magnetic stir hot plate and I'm pretty happy with it. it was, I'll say it was a fairly decent quality one. I, out of all the chemistry equipment I've been getting here lately, uh, I wanted to get a good quality hot plate. And uh, so I... This is definitely the, the largest investment I've made so far with uh, all of my chemistry equipment I've been gathering. So, I guess time will tell that uh, how well it holds up, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be uh, good. It comes with a two-year warranty. Um, I paid uh, an extra bit to get uh, a real-time temperature sensor. Um, I've got to get different stoppers so I can actually insert that in, but I'd be able to uh, set my hot plate to, say, 102 degrees, and that way um, the real-time temperature is going to measure it at approximately 100 degrees for the boiling point of water. And uh, so, yeah, I'm probably going to go to the hardware store and get some more stoppers and drill some holes that'll accommodate uh, the for one the glass tubing and the temperature sensor my glass tubing is uh, slightly slightly too thick so after I made the bend in this piece for the dis the distillation tube uh, I heated up that uh, bottom part that's inside the stopper and uh, kind of let it stretch out let gravity kind of pull on it a bit so it's not perfect looking it's a little bit warped, but it's good enough for testing tonight. Um, I also got to fool around and destroyed another piece of glass while I was trying to make a, a bent tube. Um, I screwed it up, so then I pinched off the end of the tube and melted it. So then I heated up the other side and was blowing into the tube and um, left the torch on the one side of the glass a little too long and it uh, just pops like a balloon. It, it all of a sudden it just blew up, you know, from not being able to bulge out the glass at all to all of a sudden it just popped like a balloon and these microscopic thin pieces of glass went floating down and you, you touch them and it was just like touching like a soap film. It, the glass was so thin. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, might have to show that on a video, even though it's a waste of glass. It was still, <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. So, but anyhow, I just wanted to show my hot plate. And um, this, is what, uh, this is what's been keeping me busy lately is uh, chemistry. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I guess it'd be fun to take a college course in it. Who knows? But it's fun enough to study on my own and um, teach myself out of uh, college chemistry books and getting uh, quite a bit of uh, research done online. So um, this way I, I know enough about what I'm doing to uh, start making some predictive, uh, you know, making a hypothesis and, and follow through, you know, and it, uh, I don't know. I'm just really geeking out about this stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'll post some other videos up 
later on of some of the sciencey stuff I've been doing. But uh, I'm having a blast doing this stuff, and uh, I plan on incorporating uh, chemistry with the tools that I'm making for everything from oxide protective layers to uh, plating. Uh, I've experimented with a little bit of copper plating. The first piece was extremely ugly, but hey, it worked. Uh, anyhow, um, it's what I've got going on. I haven't really been doing much with uh, making picks or challenge locks or anything like that. Anything to do with lock sport. I've been keeping up with it a tiny bit, but I've been deeply involved in chemistry. So it's uh, pretty soon here I'm going to incorporate both together and uh, I plan on making some interesting stuff. I'm just... Uh, Things I want to do. I think it'll be cool. So I'm going to do it.